no, no. Oh. No, no. No, that, that's what I need. Yeah, that, that's what I need for rituals. Abudei. Abudei. I think I'm getting it right this time. Abudei. Abudei. I got a dagger and everything. And I think I'm saying the words right. Uh, uh, oh, well. What am I doing wrong? There isn't enough time in the world to list all your problems. Ah, whatever. Let's get on with the review. Well, I'm still trying to get into the ritual thing if you want to go check out my Chucky talk. But today we're going to talk about Halloween Kills. And I, you know, we'll keep this little guy here. He, he likes commentary too. But what we're going to do is... You're going to see less of me this time. I know, it's sad. So I can talk more in-depth. So it'll be more voiceover for this on Halloween Kills because there's a lot to talk about with this one. Halloween Kills. I've been waiting for this one, well, since they pushed it off of you. But it was worth the wait. I know a lot of people were complaining about it and it did well. It's opening weekend and now it's like, eh. But it'll still make enough and I'm sure Halloween Ends will be a fitting end to this storyline. We'll see. But there's a lot to take into this film. It starts off basically where we left off, but I like how it opens up with the past and... And really, as bloody and as gruesome and gory as this is, oh, heavens, you know, but anyway, I'll talk about that later. It really does a good job of making you feel for the characters. I mean, every character in here, even from the ones from the first film, where it's like, what's going to happen to them? What happens to them? We didn't get anything. We were left hanging on some of these characters, and we get them back, and I really enjoyed it, especially taking characters like Lonnie and all that stuff there, and giving them a backstory, and giving them something in this. It is really well done, and you care for everything, and that makes the deaths and everything even more sad. So I won't spoil too much, but there will be some spoilers when i say spoilers put your fingers in your ears and go la 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 but anyway halloween kills why well, not the best but slightly i don't know better than the 2018 one um maybe halloween kills 2021 the continuation of the halloween franchise directed by david gordon green written by green danny mcbride and scott teams uh direct sequel of the 2018 the 12th in the franchise and of course we got jamie lee curtis back etc and james jude courtney comes back as the shape aka michael myers everyone does a very nice job here i love the reprising of roles everyone did great uh there's no peanut butter on the penis this time though so uh, for people who are fans of that whatever for me it was great to see deputy frank come back hawkins getting his story back in the original 1978 timeline and it's very interesting what they do there and spoiler la 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 i shed a tear seeing loomis again i mean we actually saw loomis i mean it was as if loomis came back like there was some deal with god they're like hey bring pleasance back for this oh i actually choked up seeing that uh, i know what they did but still it was great it wasn't just the voice you saw him again and that was a very interesting flashback same with lonnie experiencing him that night and coming to an adult what we're having now and his son and everything happy with that tommy doyle uh coming back i thought was done very well again too so i mean well not the greatest of performances but anthony michael hall did a good job as him and we get everybody back from there and and you just watch everybody go through this night talking about, especially him, when he stands up and tells him about the 40th year of what happened. And then stuff happens, and I really like, it is Michael's masterpiece. It really was. Because you see people turning into the monsters. I like the idea that Haddonfield had enough. I like that they wanted to band together and stop him a la Frankenstein's monster and all that. I loved it so much. They just wanted to get there and to stop him, but then that causes them to be more hateful, more fearful, more angry, and more violent violent and they don't care what they do and it results in some well again it results in some uh bad things happening but i love how it's like he basically made them all become the monster and while i feel like Lori and her family kind of took a back seat to this one it's a-okay you know they're gonna do a lot with her we've seen, they're gonna do a lot with her and her family in the next one but right now i appreciated seeing all these people 
And I liked Big John and Little John, and spoilers, here's what I'm saying. After I'm done going, la 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 you can take your fingers out, or just wait like 30 seconds, la la la, but their death affected me so much. They just seemed like good people, and they were, ah, they treated those bastard little trick-or-treaters that were pulling those pranks. I would have done far worse than just scare the hell out of them. They would have gone to hell. But anyway, it felt really bad seeing what happened to them. It was, they were fun, entertaining, great characters, just what we saw briefly, and to see them go, it was sad. And I still appreciate them putting fear into those little bastards. I don't care if Michael killed those little punks. Little jerks. But it's his house. Spoilers. La 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 la. You can take your fingers out now. And of course the ending finale death. Oh boy. And that ending. Besides seeing Loomis again. It was great. When I saw the credits I was like oh my gosh. Sheriff Brackett is back. Actual Sheriff Brackett. I appreciated that. And of course sadly the nurse from the first. H2O. She kicks the bucket. She kicks the bucket in this one too. She just gets no love I tell ya. But it was good to see Lindsay back too. She had some good moments. All the characters. It was a very kind of nice not depressing, but kind of depressing. It was a very emotionally high-driven film. You're seeing these characters, and I don't care. They did enough in this to make you feel, wow, I'm feeling for a lot of these people, and they have a lot of reasons for what they're doing, why they're doing this, why they're mad at Michael, why they're going after this, and to see, spoilers, all of them, it, it's Michael, and in this one, you kind of want to see them win for once. You really want to see him win, defeat this guy, but he's the boogeyman. He is evil, and it's a... Uh sad when you see pretty much everyone and it really just sucks but i love the dynamic i loved uh, what we saw with Lori and frank and that was a very interesting aspect there and what they said how again you can't really kill him and i'm very intrigued on how they're going to because it says ends i don't know but they say if we only knew then what we know now if only they know what we know and i'm like what do you know how are you gonna stop them and that finale holy crap i can see why a lot of people were pissed off about it but it's like well it's a cliffhanger because you know there's be another one and i felt for every character lonnie his son ah oh, Lori, her daughter uh it was just mm, judy greer did a great job in this uh allison seeing her ooh, going through there and just everybody in this town i felt for them it was nice i love little nods again i love that we got the the masks again from halloween 3 maybe we'll get connell cochran to come out in the next one he reveals how he has all these powers and they pull it off and then everyone dies putting the mask on i don't know they can do some wacky crap in here less of the humor is more focused on big john and little john i love them to death i loved a lot of these characters old and new it was so emotional so brutal and i love my my only gripe is one of the first things I've seen for the reviews were someone going, can you take your kids to see Halloween Kills? And the first one I saw was, can you take it? And the person goes, you'll be glad to know that unlike the 2018 one, there is no flashback of the first film where they used the first film to show his, you know, his sister combing her hair and he briefly, blurrily, really bad quality saw two seconds of boobies. And they're like, you don't have that in this film. So it's okay. I'm like, is that what we become? Is that really? I'm like, that is pretty pathetic. Two seconds of blurry flash boobies. If that's in there, thank God I can take my kids to see this gore fest. Yeah, but the last one, oh no, we saw her boobs for two seconds from a film that we saw all those in in 1978 so it was nothing new and it's like oh my gosh but him stomping the doctor's heads in and all the violent gores and brutality in this film oh yeah there was no thank heaven there was none of that they said but yeah go take your kids to this i'm like you gotta be kidding me this world is effed up really effed up when it comes to that i mean hey that's pretty sad i mean that was weird and that's what a lot of people are taking with this thank heaven there's no it's like i can take my t this is horribly and then then there were people complaining about the violence and the gore this movie is so bloody and gory probably the most of all it's like did you see the 2018 one do i have to mention the stomping of the head in again and then there were reviewers that i swear are not true fans of the franchise and that's what really irks me oh my gosh did you uh this is uh john carpenter would be spitting in his grave and it's like well one he's alive and two he worked and he helped work on this he, he did the music and and it's not like he didn't decide to go, gee, Halloween 2, let's add blood and gore and boobies, stuff like that. I 
I feel like people are like, this is nothing compared to this. Like, um, he's working on, he seems okay with it. And obviously you haven't seen two, three, four, five, six, where they added up the gore and everything. Let's not even talk about Rob Zombies. But, and then obviously 2018's had a ton of it. So I don't see where the complaints are with this being so violent and bloody and gory when the last one was. I think it's just a bunch of people who say, as a fan of the Halloween movie, it's like, yeah, are you a fan? fan of it or i mean just admit you're a fan of the first film and a lot of these people i'm like are you just a fan of it because it's the bandwagon thing because a truth like i'm sorry but a lot of people already know even if you don't like some of the other films you already know halloween's two three four five six h2o resurrection the remakes and 2018 you know all this stuff and you know what's in those this isn't any different than a lot of those love it or hate it but they seem to really just fixate on the 1978 one so it makes you wonder so don't listen to these if ron tomatoes hates it then and the audience score is okay you know where to go with it but this was very well done i was pleasantly surprised very surprised with halloween kills definitely a recommendation definitely go see the 2018 one to understand this one if anything i was impressed by how much i was involved deeply involved in these characters new and old and how i got affected watching how they were affected well done you deserve some applause from me i mean this does not deserve the touch of death I just said, I mean, I might be a little biased. I love the Halloween franchise right up there with Freddy, Jason, Chucky, and the rest. And some of the other ones that I feel like should get more love. I'm looking at you, Hellraiser series. But seriously, very well done. I loved it. It was a good time. Everyone I saw it with enjoyed it too. And uh, I did not suffer watch this. You won't suffer with this. Just enjoy it. It's perfect for the Halloween season. Enjoy it while you can. And I can't wait to see how it all ends. I'm very intrigued of what went on here. Likeable characters, incredibly likable characters. And in this one, I really, 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 really hated Michael in this one. This one really made you like everyone else. You wanted them to win. You wanted to see him lose and die for once. Spoilers, no. And it really like, okay, how are they going to do it? I don't know, but you really dislike him because he is a son of a bitch evil bastard that holy crap in this one. Damn, you want them to win. So hopefully Halloween ends. There's a, there's a victory there in some way. Eh, either way, but still, wow. Brutal, gut-wrenching, and many more ways than one. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of humor in this, but this is really just, go see it. If you're a fan of it, you'll like it. If you're not a fan of it, it's a coin toss. But seriously, well done, Halloween Kills. Not, again, the best in the franchise, but I like where they did what they did with this and where they're heading. Who knows? I don't know how they're going to finish this. But thanks for watching, and we'll go back to the end of this. And uh, happy Halloween, everyone. Damn, that Michael's got to go down at some point, right? And there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, I want you to suffer like I'm suffering. I feel like I have one really long freaking nail here. I'm going to tap you. I'm going to tap you. But if I touch with this one, you won't die unless the power went into... Anyway, thanks for watching. Suffer and be tormented a lot with me. Hit that like button and watch, subscribe, and help me. Help me. I'm the new Michael Byers.